so so then I started thinking about gravity and how gravity affects time and that got me thinking about the Big Bang and okay so reason number five that kind of got my brain working here was um, I was listening to this uh, radio show maybe some of you listen to it it's called coast to coast live it's on AM radio and it's usually on from like 10 p.m. at night to like early early morning hours and it's, there's like a host his name is George Nori and he had a guy on the other day the guy's name was Dr. Ronald Mallet and he's talking about time machines and this this idea that he came up with on how to create a time machine so I was listening to this program and I was thinking he's talking about a time machine that you can create with a a circular uh, like laser of uh, like a light going around a cylinder which which causes a twisting of the space inside of that area there so within that area you know you could build like a time machine and inside of that little region you could basically uh, slow time down or twist space back on itself and your time machine but your time machine would only be good from the point that you turn it on so if you if you created a time machine and you turned it on you know 50 years ago and you want to go back 50 years from now you left your time machine on for 50 years and theoretically you can step into it and you can see what was going on 50 years ago okay so that's talking about time travel in the past now of course he was also talking about black holes and how time slows down the closer you get into a black hole because it talks about the well the velocity the speed and you know then I started thinking about okay so so number six I started thinking about Einstein's theory of relativity and how basically he says the faster you go the more time slows down okay so so here here's where I'm where there's where I'm going with this so so then I start thinking I start thinking here what if entire regions of our universe were traveling at different speeds relative to each other the rate of time would also vary okay so okay okay here's my other note uh, this I, I don't know where this idea came from it just came from like out of nowhere and I'm just <laughs> all right so okay so here's like an example they give where like you've got two cars they're going the same speed they both experience the same rate of time okay but okay so because they're relative to one another it, it seems like there's they it seems like they're both stationary but they're not they're both traveling at the same speed okay but if one of the cars speeds up okay time slows down for the car that's going faster okay okay not only is the car moving out of the time rate of the other car but the car can be seen to be going faster away from its previous rate of time okay so until the faster car experiences another car that's going the same speed at which point that new region which it finds itself in it begins to experience the same time rate so it doesn't matter uh, basically where an object is in t in relation to another object because once those objects are settled in the same region they are parallel to each other 
Okay, so it doesn't matter if you have a point right here or a point right here. If they're both subtle, they're subtle. They're not moving. They're or or maybe they're moving at the same rate, so they're always in the same area. They're parallel to each other. So, in other words, they uh, when they're parallel to each other, they're experiencing the same. They're experiencing the same rate of time. Okay. Okay. So. Um, For example, okay, the Milky Way, our galaxy, can be said to be parallel with the galaxy of Andromeda, the Andromeda galaxy. We could just say that, okay? We're talking on a massive scale here. And so since they're both, in a sense, parallel to each other, they are experiencing the same rate of time. Okay, so, okay. All right, now, let's moving on to the next idea here.